Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Motors and Me. So, some of you may already know that I blanked the EGR valve on my Ford around three years ago. Some of you may also know that blanking the EGR valve on a 1.8 TDCI is a simple task. All you need is the blanking plate. And that's it. There's absolutely no need to fiddle with the ECU. And so far everything has been working nicely without any warning lights. The reason why I blanked the EGR was because the car had very annoying RPM issues where when starting from a standstill the RPMs would suddenly drop with the exhaust spewing black smoke and sometimes even stalling. But now after blanking the car has been running like a charm. So then you are probably thinking why bother making a video aside from letting you know that everything has been working nicely ever since. Well, not too long ago a colleague of mine brought up a subject about his Subaru not reaching optimal engine temperatures around 90 degrees even after 40 kilometers of driving. And I said that's completely normal for these outside temperatures around minus 10 degrees Celsius. And my other colleague goes well, no, your thermostat must be stuck open. And that got me thinking. Ever since I bought my Ford, it never really reaches optimal operating temperatures once outside temperatures fall below minus 5. And that's even after long distance driving. What I mean by long distance, 50 or 100 kilometers. I do get heat from the vents and the interior warms up nicely, so it never really bothered me. Anyways, so just out of curiosity, I brought my Ford to my mechanic and told him to check the entire cooling system. Next day, he gives me a call and says the cooling system runs perfectly fine. He also said that he added a piece of cardboard in front of the radiator and see if that makes any difference. Well, matter of fact, it did, but that's not a long term solution. He also said that my blanked EGR could be at fault here. And if you think about it, it does make sense because the coolant also flows through the EGR. And with the EGR blanked, there's nothing to cool. And so in this video, I'm going to do a small experiment. I will unblank the EGR, take the car for a trip and see how long will it take for the temperature gauge to reach 75 degrees. 75 because it never really reaches 90 degrees, it just goes up to 87 and that's it, even in summer, I don't know why. Yesterday I already made a trip, but of course with the EGR blanked. Today I'm gonna do the same trip with the EGR open <clears throat> and in theory it should take less for the car to warm up than it did me yesterday, but we'll see. First, of course, let's go and unblank the EGR. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's a lot of carbon. Ooh, that's nasty. All right, everything's back together. Here's the blanking plate. The car's engine is cool, well, more or less. It's been sitting for around seven hours, or maybe eight, same as yesterday, actually. Uh, outside temperatures are about the same. Now let's see if that makes any difference. But first, I will show you the video I shot yesterday. All right, EGR is blanked, the engine is cold, the car has been sitting for around eight hours. Now let's see how long will it take to reach 75 degrees. Degrees. 
All right, warm up test, EGR open, go. Starts, let's go. Well, so far I'm not experiencing that RPM drop I had before. Okay, gauge is starting to go up slowly. All right, we have reached almost 75 degrees. And I can already tell by where I am, that's a lot sooner than yesterday. So yeah, a blank EGR makes a difference. Your car warms up slower. But it's a bit weird. The car doesn't seem to behave the same way it did three years ago before I blanked the EGR. Back then, I had these sudden RPM drops when starting from a standstill. But now I have these brief losses of power when I accelerate, especially in second gear, is just... I would accelerate for half a second, lose most of the power, but after that, it's good. It's weird. So, I am back at my house, and the conclusion is yes. A blanked EGR is responsible for my Ford not warming up properly. Does it bother me? No. As I said in the beginning, I do get heat from the vents and the interior warms up nicely. So, but I can very well imagine that in some cases this problem could be much more severe. Because, let's say, you do have a stuck open thermostat and outside temperatures are below, let's say, minus 20 degrees, your car will be basically stuck in a warm-up phase. That would cause more fuel being burned, which in turn increases carbon buildup. And that, on the long run, is very bad for the engine. Now, I know I'm probably making an elephant out of a fly, but you know, stuff like that happens. Now, in the case of my Ford, I do plan to fix the issue with the EGR and remove the blanking plates. A while ago, I dug around the internet and stumbled upon some info that supposedly uh, these Mark IVs had an EGR issue from the very beginning and Ford released an ECU update that fixes that. Supposedly, it could be that this Ford never received the update. Who knows? Now, this is definitely a problem that I will return to sometime in the future, because for now I have different videos in the planning. So, stay tuned. So, in the comment section below, let me know if your 1.8 TDCi has similar EGR issues, and how have you dealt with them? if you have that is. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you next time. Bye-bye.